What's good? It's your boy Mufasa coming through with a quick tutorial um, on file management. Okay, um, this is some of the things I wish I knew when I was, you know, transitioning from DJing with physical medium CDs, vinyl cassettes to digital medium MP3 flags. You know, music files that you will find on any computer. So um, the first thing you need to know is that um, you need to separate your DJ music from your um, own personal music that you will listen to or your family will listen to. So how do you do that? It's that, okay, you navigate to um, to your music folder on your computer, Mac, PC, it doesn't matter. When you're the create a new folder. This is assuming you got a DJ controller for Easter for Christmas for your birthday. You just start it off. You don't have anything. All you just have is just iTunes. Yeah, some of your music is there. Forget all about those ones for now, okay? So um just create a DJ music folder. So now that we have that DJ music folder created, that DJ music folder is going to be the home to all music, all files that you think you're ever going to DJ with, okay? Um, I'm not going to make any subfolders or any genre or genre specific folders under that DJ music. Some people do all of that, you know, they put dates, they put years, they put genre. To me, I think it's a waste of time and it's you know, because most DJ softwares can read that information from the file itself. So if you have proper tags in your files, you do not need to be, you know, making sub sub folders in your DJ music just so that you want to put R and B so in a different place. Just dump all the music in DJ music. That's it. So so um when you download new files from the from the internet, obviously it goes somewhere in your computer. Some people download into their download folder. Um, yes, as you can see, um, my download folder, you can see some files there. Some people, it will be um, their desktop that they will download to, irrespective, wherever you download to. Download to one spot, okay, just to make your life easier. Decide where you want to keep your downloads, so download there. This is just a holding place. We're still we have so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move the music from downloads, okay? Say for example, these are all the files that downloaded today, and some of them are down there, right? This is all the music that I downloaded. So what I need to do is I need to if I right click and I press cut, or you can also use Control X or Command X if you're on Mac. Um, or you can drag and drop side by side, whatever you choose to do. I just, I use cut. So from there, I go back to um, that DJ music folder I just created. As you can see it there. Then I paste all that new music into DJ music. This is gonna be the final home of these tracks. I'm not making any subfolders. I'm not making anything in there. It's just naked files in there. And as you can see, even in File Explorer, you can also already see some important information about those tracks. So from there, you can I can go back to my downloads folder to make sure the music is no longer there because I don't want to have a copy there and another copy, you know, um, in my DJ music folder. If I typically I don't use my internal storage to store DJ music because I use an external drive to store my music. Basically it, it makes my library to be um, portable and I can use it between two computers easily. As long as the computer has my software um, installed on it, all I just do just plug in my drive into it and bingo I'm ready to go. Also, if I change my, I can change my computers easily without having to 
think about cloning or doing any of those funny stuff to transfer my my, my, my music over. So basically, but if you use internal drive, that's fine. Just make sure everything is in one folder. And that way, it's also easy for you to be able to change computers should you need to upgrade your computer or do anything like that. Okay, so once that is done, then I would go into my DJ software. Um, say we're using Engine Prime for this for the purpose of this um, video. Um, so I go into Engine Prime and make sure that it's set up just how I want it. I can go into the settings and uh, make sure auto analysis is on. I can choose a BPM range that I think most of my music will fall into. Going by what I downloaded, I think they, most of them will fall between here and there. Uh, but this is, you know, you can always reanalyze or make changes to your, um, to your, this is just the BPM range anyway. So once I'm happy with that, then I will navigate to my folder. You could either do it within the software or you can do it within Windows as well. Just drag your DJ music folder onto Engine Prime. If we can do it through here. And as you can see, even the digital software understands that um, people should keep, look at in, in terms of hierarchy, it has your DJ music folder right up there because he understands that most people should keep their music here. I don't understand why people will keep music on their desktop or somewhere else, like in their document folder or, you know, it makes zero sense. So just navigate to that new, um, your DJ music folder, which this is it right there. And see um all the files within it is shown um that engine prime can work with so at this point I just control a all i just did was just select all the tracks and just say add tracks to collection so what it means is that what the, this tells engine prime that okay all the tracks that i selected should be added to my engine prime collection the, the first tab up here is the collection tab so that means Engine Prime understands that I'm going to want to DJ with these files. So it's going to always reference them. Okay. So because I have auto analysis on, you can see it's quickly um, running its analysis down there. So now that is done, this doesn't mean I'm ready to start DJing yet. Okay. DJing is all about preparation. It's not about the party. It's not about... um. Um, what you do on the dance floor, S a big chunk of it is, you know, music discovery and, you know, finding new tunes and all that. But this current time, um, you know, there's a lot of music out there. It's, I don't care who you are. It's going to be hard for you to remember more than <laughs> maximum, maybe a thousand tracks by art as in offhand. Like you need things to help you navigate, especially if you play like bars um, weddings, parties, and you're not the one that just plays from the same set list all the time. Um, I'm a bar, um, what we could say, bar, lounge, pop, DJ, and sometimes clubs. You know, there's no way I know how the night is going to go. Like, So it's mostly about, you know, um, if I'm in the pocket, finding all the songs that will be in a similar vibe, similar place, if, if it's getting a great reaction so for, for, to make my life easier in terms of finding similar tracks i have to use um you know things to make it easy say for example i'm doing a disco funk night i just type in disco funk and everything will come out there so people you need to use your genre your comments your composer tags anything you think you, you where you can add stuff um, just had things that will make it easy for you to find. Like I could say, okay, this song, um, for example, I could, uh, let's look for one. I know this is an Afrobeat quieto. I could just say Afrobeat. Uh, okay, I think I have my caps. Afrobeat. Party classes throwback. Um, I know it's a South African song, South Africa. 
um, you know, just adding some stuff there. This is just all in the preparation stage. That's why there's, there's no point. The more music you download, the more your prep stage should be, okay? Um, that's why you should always screen music before you add them to your library. Like, you know, after screening them, say, for example, each week you download 150 tracks. Then you need to do, you need to tag 150 tracks. So, uh <laughs> Less is more, like they always say. I always try to keep it to be like 20, 25 a week. Um, you know, even when I was still quite busy, I just referenced, you know, 20, 20 25 on a Thursday, on a Friday before the weekend, download it, tag all of them properly. And I can always go back to add more tags or change the tags as, you know, as I get to know the songs more. But I'll have something there from the get-go to help me find that song. I probably wouldn't remember the name, but I was just like, oh, let me just go on the South African file, type this in, and then boom, songs in that same, you know, that have that same comment or whatever. It's not, the, you know, there could be songs that have South Africa and they're tied to those songs will come up all, also, but then again, I would know, okay, this is not what I'm looking for, but it's, it, you, I can narrow down from, you know, from, from a large um library easily so there are different um the thing about the comments some people use um you know star ratings the thing about star ratings is that it is it is very software specific so if i have um, a star rating here for example um in engine prime if i rate this song five stars if i use the same file somewhere else maybe in serato or record box this rating doesn't carry over but things like the genre the comment the label artist all those kind of things uh, composer uh you know um they're universal so what i normally do for my star rating is instead of using this one right there is to use another um field so like composer for example you can see um i have um five pluses in there those five pluses mean five stars, two pluses, two star. And if I open this same file in Serato, these pluses will be there. Okay? So, um, and after I've done this, then I can now start saying, okay, let me make a disco crate. I can click, you know, type disco, then go back to my collection sort by just select all the disco alone and then add them to this crate you know stuff like that um even some other softwares have um smart crates which are kind of recursive crates that you could just set up this to always um, pull in any song that has disco in its tags into this crate so um like I said, um, this is quite basic, but as basic as it is, it is the fundamental. Even before you start learning how to mix, even before you <laughs> you put on your equipment, your um, software, um, your hardware, or your controller, whatever it is you want to get down with, before you do anything, you need to understand the basic of file management. A lot of people um, are moving from, you know, vinyl or they have not DJed in 20, 30 years and they're coming back because obviously everybody's in lockdown. They want to go back to their, you know, uh, what they used to do back in the day. And I see a lot of comments on like, oh, um, I had a file into my library. I can't find the file again because if I had moved it in from the downloads or renamed that exact file, and stuff like that yeah and let me just add that as well um okay um the other bit is that once you put the you know those files in your um dj music file <laughs> do not I, re I repeat um if you uh, no, let me say do not okay um I'll just say, if you rename the actual files itself, that means, if, say for example, this DJ Cleo now, say I rename it by just saying, removing the DJ. That file is gonna be missing from your software. So let's look for it now, DJ Cleo. See, uh, when I click, 
init in engine prime the file goes missing because the software cannot see that file again because it's expecting the file name to be DJ Clio dot Facebook dot MP3 but because I changed the actual file name itself it, the file is gonna go missing so please um use your tags um if you f if you're not comfortable if if you want to make changes to file names make the changes before you you add that song into your DJ software which means while the song is still in your download folder say for example you just downloaded a few tunes and then there's some you, some garbage with the file name or you want to clean up the file name you want it to be uh maybe artist and track you don't want track numbering or key information or so do all that while the song or the track is still in your downloads before you add it into your dj music folder is it is the files that you're happy with that you add to your dj music folder okay so um and like i said it's the same with serato as well um say this is serato you start up serato after you've moved your files over to your dj music then just um navigate you know um serato has a files um a files tab right there click on it right even you can see serato gives you a music folder my music you know your um, computer's music folder you know it's placed eye on its hierarchy of places it's going to navigate through so you just click on it go to dj music and just grab dj music see drag and drop you can either drag it down here or drag it onto onto the left panel there that says all okay i think the safest way is to go use this all because if you're say for example you're in a different crate you're you're doing stuff you have crates some crates highlighted there um, you've created some crates and you, you forgot that you're in a crate if you drag this straight down here and it's actually highlighting a crate that music is going to go into that crate so the safest and the uh, easiest way and this is to drag DJ music and drag it onto all. Always do that. Just drag it this way. And once you drop it there, everything pops up. And then you can start tagging, adding comments. Uh you can you know, let's just say peak time party throwbacks disco funk okay you can say old school so just add a lot of things that would help you to you know um quickly find such a track so you doing a disco or a funk throwback the song will go for funk it will go for disco so basically that's what you need so you do all this thing then you analyze your library this serato is, is just click analyze it's it will just analyze just the new tracks only stuff like that um other than that <coughs> okay don't need this because these um these are flax and they are at um, a higher rate than serato can um can play I don't know. Anyways, so um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I did try to keep this as short as I can, but I guess I talk too much. I try to <laughs> compress it in editing. All right then. Peace.